Hi, this is Josh from Over the Shoulder Coding, where I help you prepare for software engineering interviews by guiding you through solving real problems. In this video, I'm going to walk you through day 28 of HackerRank's 30 Days of Code challenge. Today, we're working with regular expressions. Regular expressions are a way to help you parse through strings and detect substrings, whether they match a specific pattern or not. In our task today, we're going to go through a list of emails and see if the email address ends in gmail.com. So we're going to use regex to test for that. I've set up our regex pattern here in regex101.com, a good regex checker. And so our pattern is going to start with the first thing we want to search for, which is the at sign for at gmail.com. And we're going to put in a backslash here to make sure that we're matching the period because in regex regularly the period means any character and then we're going to do com and then the dollar sign to assert that at the end of the line because if we had something like at gmail.com that like this then it wouldn't be the end of the line and that wouldn't be the right domain you're searching for so with this pattern we're going to use it and save that as our regex pattern that we're going to match against. So I'm going to copy that right now and go back to our code and just make sure that I remember pattern equals regex string gmail.com dollar sign. Now, how do we use the regex package in Python? Well, I've also linked the documentation here for Python 3.7 for the regex package and you should take a look at this if you're not familiar. Um, I'm going to skip over most of it but I'm going to show you what I'm going to use to figure out how to use this. So the module content is going to talk about what is available in this module that we're importing. We're importing the re module for regex and what we can do is we can compile a regex searcher so if we have our pattern, which we got previously, we can compile it into this program that's going to either match or search for strings. So match starts at the beginning of a string and search searches the string. So we're going to use search after we compile our regex program. And we're going to call uh, search instead of match on the string that we want to find. And it'll return if it finds that matching string. So we can jump to that and read about the documentation here. So let's look at our task today and see what we're going to do. If the row contains an email ID that ends in gmail.com, we're going to print the first name in an alphabetically sorted list of people. So that means that we have to store the first name if it contains an email address that's at gmail.com and then sort that list and print it out later. So our input format right now is n rows where each row is two strings separated by space. So the first string is the person's first name, the second string is their email ID. So you can see Rhea, Rhea at gmail.com, Julia, Julia at julia.me, and we wouldn't print this. But then we have two other Julias here, Samantha at gmail.com, Tanya at gmail.com. So when we sort it, We'll print Julia, Julia, Rhea, Samantha, and Tanya. So HackerRank has already helped us out with some of the boilerplate of taking in the input range, taking in each string, splitting it, and then we get the first name and the email ID. And I'm just going to print out the first name and then print the email ID to make sure that we're getting it correctly. So we get Rhea, Rhea at gmail.com. We get the first name, we get the email for each row we print it out. So we're getting the right variables. Let's go to the next step where we print the first names. So we're going to store the first names in a list. We're going to make the list and for all the first names, we're going to append them to the first names list. 
then for all the names in the first names list we're going to print them so we're printing Rhea, Julia, Julia, Samantha, Tanya and this is really close but it's not sorted and we didn't filter out one of the Julias one of the Julias at Julia.me so we should only be printing two Julias so sorting is pretty easy all we have to do is do first names list dot sort and it'll automatically sort it alphabetically because it's sorting strings so now we have a sorted output but we didn't filter out Julia so this is the the meat of the problem how are we going to use regex to sort it out so we're going to make a regex program what by compiling in the pattern so this is going to pre-compile a regex searcher or a regex uh, pattern recognizer that's going to recognize uh, whether a string has this pattern or not and in our for loop as we're iterating through the emails we're going to check if the regex searches for the email ID and finds the pattern. If it finds the pattern at gmail.com as a domain, then we're going to print, then we're going to add that first name to our first names list, sort it, then print it out. So let's run this code. Great. Looks good. So the key here is that we iterated step by step. First, we made sure that we're getting the right variables. Then we were able to print out the output, we were able to then sort it, then we tackled the problem of finding regex. So in any interview problem that you're going to get, you should break it down into a bunch of smaller steps that you know how to solve, and then you'll be able to solve the bigger problem. Let's go ahead and submit. All right, looks like we passed this challenge. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already so you know when the next video is coming out. And if you haven't filled out the survey already, please fill out the survey in the description below to give me feedback on this channel. And help support me making more videos by becoming a patron on patreon.com slash over the shoulder coding. The link is also in the description below. Thanks and I'll see you later.